You know, sharing birthdays is something everyone does if the crowd's big enough. Classrooms, offices often put multiple names on that birthday cake. And but tonight, Galen Culver has the story on a double birthday for one business. The Artesian Hotel in Sulphur is both 110 and 3 this month. Throwback to the original Artesian, which you can see. The King Executive Suite still looks pretty good at three years old. Artesian Hotel General Manager Nick Starn says this second floor room is popular for the turret seat, views of the National Park across the street, and its framed pictures of history, which runs pretty deep on the spot. They like seeing the flair and the different things that really bring back some of the original components of the original property. In August of 1906, developers J.M. Bayless and C.J. Webster used spare lumber from their unfinished hotel bland, forced to move to make way for a new national park. The town of Sulphur had to move twice. The new Winston Hotel, soon to be renamed the Artesian, was the town's anchor. A grand place, a summer White House for Governor Haskell, for years one of the fanciest hotels in Oklahoma. I had the 50 cent tour, it might even have been the 75. <laughs> Mary Lou Heltzel grew up fascinated with the Artesian's lofty turrets and funky charm. Harry Kelly was manager when she was a kid. Passerby could call to Harry's pet parrot and he would answer back. And the parrot would answer you call back to you and it was fun. Huh. She was still pretty young when the old artesian burned on a cold January night in 1962. The motel that opened on this spot was a poor substitute for the original. It wasn't the grand old lady that we had. But there it's at for 50 years until the Chickasaw Nation rebuilt the new artesian. We're well appointed with all the amenities. Back came the corner turrets, the pillars in the lobby and the ornate floors. Two. Nick Starnes new doesn't have a parrot, but there's still plenty of the past for visitors to call upon. Even a phonograph that served the hotel ballroom until just before the fire. Yeah. Much like this, you would have folks come in and say, oh, you, you have the fireplace back in here. You have the wonderful tile work. You have the pillars, uh, which is truly an homage to the original property. Another old building in Sulphur, the old city hall turned Arbuckle History Museum has a few things from the old artesian. Soap, towels, a couple of chairs and dinner menus with prices that would fill the current dining room within minutes. August 1906, August 2013, and so many historic summers in between. This corner in downtown Sulphur has come full circle from grand old hotel to grand new one. A true phoenix, or better yet, an artesian well whose waters are flowing once again. In Sulphur, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? It is a beautiful, beautiful hotel. The old Chickasaw Motor Inn, by the way, was demolished back in 2006. The new Artesian Hotel reopened on August 2nd, 2013. You should check